Today, AMD is releasing another one, a weird new NVIDIA GPU. Ryzen 9000 is getting an upgrade, and AMD is releasing the mother load of products. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, AMD has been releasing tons of new CPUs for their last generation AM4 platform. Just recently, they released the Ryzen 9 5900 XT and Ryzen 7 5800 XT. Before that, they had their 5700X3D as well as their 5600X3D that was released just through Micro Center. Well, it looks like they're releasing yet another one because, as you can see right here in this EEC filing, we actually have a Ryzen 5 5500X3D. And what's wild about this is that it was actually last year that this leaker revealed that CPU as well as the 5700X3D. And as the name suggests, this is set to be a six core 12 thread CPU. And at least according to those older rumors, it is set to feature a three gigahertz base clock with a four gigahertz boost clock as well as 96 megabytes of L3 cache. Basically, if you're still on AMD's AM4 platform or you're you're looking for a cheaper alternative to AM5 and the 9000 or 7000 CPUs, this could be a great buy for you where you can save a little bit of money. And while talking about savings, you can learn how computers actually work and save money while doing it with today's sponsor. Brilliant! Because when you use my link at brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you're not only getting a 30 day free trial, but once it's over, you can get 20% off. If you haven't tried Brilliant yet, there's a reason I trust them anytime I want to learn something new. For starters, they make learning interesting because you're not just reading or memorizing a bunch of stuff. Instead, you actually learn with their awesome hands-on approach, where you get in there and do what you're learning yourself. Whether it's their new course on large language models, learning to code, or any of their other awesome computer science courses. And all you have to do is visit my link at brilliant.org slash gamermeld or just use the QR code right here. And like I said, you can try out Brilliant for 30 days free, so there's nothing to lose. And when you love it, because I know you will, you can get 20% off once again when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And next up for today, does anyone remember a little while back when NVIDIA randomly unlaunched their 12 gigabyte RTX 4080? Remember they had a 16 gigabyte model as well as a 12 gigabyte model and then they just canceled it. And the reasoning for that, according to NVIDIA themselves, you can see it, I have it right here. It says having two GPUs of the 4080 designation is confusing. And the reason why I'm saying it in such a mocking tone is because, well, before this, they had multiple GPUs with the same designation. And after that, they had multiple GPUs with the same designation. In fact, they even had more than two GPUs with the same designation. Well, guess what? They're doing it yet again. As you can see right here, they are apparently planning to release an RTX 4070 with GDDR6 instead of GDDR6X, which, at least if you ask me, is even more confusing than a GPU with less or more memory. They're actually changing the memory type. As you can see right down here, this originally comes from the Board Channels forum, and it says, this is translated, it says, the new batch of GDDR6 memory-based graphics cards from various brands is expected to start arriving around August 20th. Now, this rumor had been going around for a little while, but we actually now have a date. It says RTX 4070 series models from various brands are likely to remain in short supply, and this shortage may continue until around the 20th. The new batch of RTX 4070 GDDR6 memory is expected to start arriving after the 20th, which may gradually ease the supply situation. And from what I've seen, this basically comes from a recent shortage in GDDR6X memory, so NVIDIA is a apparently set to release 4070 without GDDR6X. Now, according to this report and according to board partners from it, it says the new RTX 4070 is expected to have similar performance to the original model despite the 5% decrease in bandwidth from GDDR6X to GDDR6. While this may result in a slight performance hit, it's worth noting that not all workloads are memory intensive and other factors like CUDA core count, CDP, and clock speeds are likely to remain the same. And it probably is true, but don't forget that when NVIDIA originally released the 4070, GDDR6X was quite a bit more expensive than GDDR6. I mean, it still is more expensive, of course, but the point is they were willing to spend that extra bit to get a bit more performance. And I do have to say that it is a little bit worrisome that board partners are acting like, oh, it's basically the same 
because that tells me I sort of wonder, are they even going to make it very clear that this model has GDDR6 while this one actually has GDDR6X? Basically, if you are looking at purchasing an RTX 4070 in the near future, I would definitely look out to make sure you're getting the model you want. And next up, you're likely already aware that AMD's new Ryzen 9000 series processors are here, and the release has been a lackluster one to say the least. Many reviewers have shown that the performance we can expect out of these in a lot of ways is nowhere near what AMD promised when they announced them, and because of that, people are rightfully angry. Well. Do you remember a little while back that there was this leak that said AMD may actually respec the Ryzen 7 9700X with a higher 120 watt TDP to actually beat out last gen 7800X 3D? Remember that it was announced to have a 65 watt TDP and actually it was released with that as well, making this not look true. But it looks like AMD may now be contemplating it. As you can see right here, this is the same leaker that I discussed earlier that got something right a year ago, but basically it says AMD will increase Ryzen 5 9600X and Ryzen 7 9700X TDPs from 65 watts to 105 watts with the Agisa 1.2.0.1a patch A. Now 105 watts obviously isn't 120, but still, given the fact that especially the 9700X has such a low TDP, it definitely felt like it was held back. So this could be good news, though. Of course, you have the problem with the fact that people who already purchased the CPU purchased it expecting it to be 65 watt TDP and now if it all of a sudden is much higher, hopefully this will come with some kind of choice for users, but of course we shall see. With all of that said, there's actually a couple other things to quickly go over that is showing to bring more performance to these CPUs. This one right here, you can actually see that it was found by Hardware Unboxed where overall you can apparently gain upwards of a 4% gaming performance boost. So we're talking performance boost in games when you use Windows administrator account. Now, before you go and switch over to an administrator account, I definitely do not suggest this. Any kind of gaming performance is not worth it, especially if you have anything important, just because it is a security issue to run the whole time with an administrator account. But the good news is that it is apparently a bug and AMD has already confirmed that the issue will be fixed with a future Windows update, meaning AMD is hopefully going to be giving out a little bit more performance with their Ryzen 9000 chips there as well. But it doesn't stop there because at least according to MSI, they actually have a new Precision Boost Overdrive enhanced mode that apparently boosts Ryzen 9000 performance by up to 15%. You can see right here, 9950X, between 4 and 10% faster than stock performance, 3 to 8%, 9900X, then the 9700X, 7 to 15% faster, and the 9600X gets between 3 to 8% faster than stock performance. Meaning, if you do own one of their supported MSI motherboards, this might be a nice option, though, of course, don't forget what happened to Intel when their motherboard makers started pushing things a little bit too far. Now, I'm not really sure if this actually would push it too far, but keep that in mind. With all of that said, basically, there are multiple things kind of hitting the woodworks that show AMD is giving out at least a bit more performance to these CPUs, though it is still a serious disappointment. And lastly for today, AMD is apparently planning a massive launch event set to release multiple upcoming products. As you can see right here, originally reported by this leaker on Twitter, AMD is apparently set to release three new products on October 10th, their Ryzen AI 300 Pro series APUs, their next generation Epic Turin CPUs, and for those who may not remember, AMD actually sort of gave a preview of this. They're set to be based on three nanometers with upwards of 192 cores and 384 threads. So we're talking one monster of a product line here. Not only that, but they're also set to release their Instinct MI325X monster GPU. Now, of course, all of these are professional products. So if you're not interested in that, luckily, we also heard from this leak that AMD is planning for CES 2025, which is January 7th through the 10th, to release their long-awaited Strix Halo APUs. Don't forget that these bad boys come 
with up to an IGBU with up to 40 CUs. And for those who may not know what that means, we're talking mid to somewhat higher mid-level desktop gaming GPUs type of performance here. We're talking upwards of an RTX 4070. Basically, if you've been waiting and hoping for an APU that can actually game and game really well, this is it. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for one of AMD's upcoming new products or has the Ryzen 9000 release blender really kind of given you a bad taste for AMD? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for free at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day.